and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial which is hopefully going to turn out a little bit fall inspired. So we shall see how it turns out. This is going to be one of those kind of improvised as I go looks. So I've already applied my primer and foundation because I'm doing a first impression review of this foundation. So the primer is the By Terry Hydra Primer and I used the Givenchy Fluid Foundation in the shade Matte Honey for my base. So for concealer I'm going to pop on some of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath my eyes and on my nose, a forehead and underneath my cheekbones to highlight a little bit. I'm just going to apply that using my Beauty Blender. Lord, do I need this under eye highlight today? Ooh. I'm also going to pop that on my inner corner just because I get a bit purple in there. And I'm just applying that underneath the hollows of my cheekbones just to accentuate my contour when I do get around to doing it. Then to set that concealer, I'm going to use my trusty Astralis AC on Tour palette using that banana shade in the middle that I have completely used up because I love it so much. I do wish that Australis had a palette just of that banana shade. I know that Anastasia Beverly Hills has one, but I don't really want to pay that much money, to be honest. <laughs> For the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Australis Fresh and Flawless because it is the most stunning flawless powder you've ever seen in your life. So that is the base of our face done. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some contouring, highlighting and blushing. So for the contour, I'm going to use my Napoleon Purtis Contour Kit using that shade at the bottom. I'm just going to cut out my cheekbones and contour my nose a little bit. blush I'm going to use this one by Bourge Bois called Rose Tea. I adore this so much it's so pretty. I'm just going to apply that using my angled blush brush by Sedona Lace. I feel like mine aren't very pigmented though you have to like really get in there to get any of the product but the color itself is just stunning. I feel like I have to always add more blush than what's needed because that just wears off my face so easily. I don't know what it is, but that's the first thing to come off. And it's really irritating. So I'm just blending that in so it doesn't look too harsh. For a highlight, I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer, which I'm just suddenly obsessed with. And I know I'm so late to get this, but it's stunning. So I'm going to use this Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones. And up towards my brow bone. Like, would you just look at that? I also like to make sure that I blend out my highlight so it's not just in this straight line. So just going in circles. A little bit down my nose and on my forehead. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm not completely sure what I'm going to go with, but we're just going to do it. So I'm going to start with this Chi Chi, what's it called, metallic eyeshadow stick called Barbarella, which is absolutely stunning, and I saw Shannon so I used this ages ago, and I just fell in love with it. It looks amazing, especially for an inner corner highlight, but today I'm just going to apply that over my entire lid for a base. I really need to sharpen this. It's like piercing my eyelid. <laughs> I think I'm also going to apply that to my inner corner. So for my lid color, I'm going to use the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. It's this tiny little pigment. It's in the shade Nude Pearl. It's one of my favorite pigments. It is just insanely gorgeous. And I'm going to apply that over my entire eyelid. They're going to look like a disco ball by the end of this tutorial. So I'm just popping that on my eyelid, just 
pushing it, not dragging it, otherwise we're going to get so much fallout. Okay, so that's our lid colour. Okay, so I had to take a second to think about what I was actually doing. This is what I kind of came up with. So I'll show you what I did. So what I'm going to do is take Unseen from the Dark Matter Stack by Melt and pop that through my crease lightly to add a bit of warmth. Then we're going to take Enigma from the same Dark Matter Stack and I'll pop that through my Add V area. I just wanted to change it up a bit and not just have black and gold, so I thought black, gold and red. Then from that same NYX palette we're going to take this black shade. And I'm going to pop that over where we applied that red in the outer V and in our crease. This is just going to make it a little bit more dramatic. Going back in with our next pigment, I'm just going to go over our eyelid once more just to brighten up that shade. Once we've done all that blending, we tend to lose a little bit of it. Taking my trusty pencil brush, I'm going to take Unseen and sweep that under my whole lash line. We're going to take Enigma by Melt. <laughs> I'm going to apply that to three quarters of our eye, not bringing it all the way in, but the majority of it. Then taking that, that black once more, we're just going to apply that to the outer half. Now for my lash line, I'm going to line it using the Almo Bright Eyes and I'm going to use the brown side. You can go in and do a winged liner or just a basic line on the top, but I'm going to skip that and go straight to lashes. So I'm going to use my um, Red Cherry 43 and I'm going to chop off the inner corner part because these are way too long for my little beady eyes. And I'm just going to apply some uh, duo eyelash adhesive to adhere them to my eyelid. For mascara, I'm going to use my Essence Lash Mania Reloaded. So that is the eyes completed, and now I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. I'm just using a angled brush and my Sigma Brow Duo in the shade Dark. and setting them in place using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. So to top it off for the lips, I'm going to go for a nude because I feel like most people for fall looks, they always go for that dark burgundy plum lip. And I just want to do something a bit different. So I'm going to use a Cashmere by Lime Crime just purely for the fact that I love the colour, not the company. But this colour is just... <laughs> But there are plenty of alternatives to get your hands on if you do love this colour. Just google Lime Crime Dupes and you'll find some really nice cheap alternatives that are also vegan. It's pretty much the last time that I'll be using it because I'm pretty sure it's the last of my product. It's almost gone. I'm going to apply my lips using my Muse Lip Pencil in Natural. That is the completed look. I would like to call it a full daytime look. It still has that full look with the eyes, but it's just not so dramatic to the point that we've got those burgundy lips and really dramatic eyes. I really enjoyed it doing this look for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. If you did enjoy, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!